in the previous video we installed the dependencies the libraries that were required and we ran this small program where just where we just imported the data and displayed the top five rows of the data right so from this video we're going to actually get into dash okay so let's start so whenever you are writing a program using dash the first thing that you do is you create an app variable which is equal to dash dot uh, yeah one more thing that we need to do is you need to import dash as well right yeah so now we will create a variable by the name of app which would be equal to dash dot dash class so in short we have just created an object of the dash class which is inside the dash module right now what you do is uh, you write app dot layout which is a property of the dash class and over here you try to create the layout of your page right so currently we will try to create a very simple layout which will only contain one ui item and that is a heading okay so the first web page that we are going to create using dash will contain only one single thing and that is a heading right so let's see how can we create a heading using dash so we'll write html which is dash html components and over there you can see if you are aware of html you know html has tags so all those tags which are available in html are supported by dash html components library okay so you can see the div component or the p component or the h4 component or nav or output you can see a lot almost every html tag that is present there is also present in the html uh, i'm sorry dash html component library okay so for now we are going to use this h1 component and h1 component has certain um, attributes or rather certain parameters one of them is children and whatever you set inside children will be displayed in the web page so let's say if we write my first dashboard now when the page will load you will see that there will be one h1 where my first dashboard would be written okay so whatever you write inside children will be taken as the default argument that will be displayed on the web page right the last thing that you will do is you will write the if name equal to equal to double underscore main construct and over here you will write app dot there is a method by the name of run server and that's it this is the code right what you will do is you will simply run this code and you will be able to see your first web page served using dash let's run it right click run dashboard and you can see you are getting this output where dash is saying that your web page or web application is running on this url so if you know about 127.0.0.1 is it's actually the url of your own machine it's the local host right and it's running on this port 8050 so if i click on this you'll see a page will open on your browser and you can see here it is uh, this is my first web page and you can easily see the h1 tag which says my first dashboard right now what we can do is we can do some minor changes if you want to like if you want to style it like if you want to change the color or the size or the alignment of the h1 you can easily do that by changing the style parameter right inside the style parameter you need to pass a dictionary inside which you will pass css properties using or rather in key value pairs so let's say i want to change the color of font to red for that i'll use a css property by the name of color 
and you can set the value to be red and if I run it again this is the URL let's click on the URL and you can see we are able to change the uh, background color I'm sorry not the background color but the font color of h1 we can also do some changes some more changes like there is a CSS property by the name of text align and if we change it to center and run it again and you can see that now my h1 is aligned to the center of the screen right so in this video we learned how to create a very basic web page or a hello world web page using dash in the subsequent pay, uh, videos we are going to make some more complex uh, ui based pages and then gradually we will put graph inside them okay so thanks for watching we'll meet in the next video Bye.